burst spray accuracy. Do you want to learn this? In this video, you will learn the secret on how to do accurate M416 burst sprays. So without wasting any time, come to training grounds. First, you need to have good sensitivity. Copy my sensitivity code and use it if you want to start off immediately. My sensitivity code will be available on the Telegram group mentioned in the description whenever an update is made. Or you can watch this video and make your own sensitivity and then come back to this video. You should be able to direct your aim at one precise location without any huge bullet spread. Practice this with every scope. Make sure you can spray at one point with minimal bullet spread. Next, move further away and try this from a longer distance. Make sure you're able to maintain spraying at a single point, even at a longer distance. Repeat this for the other scopes as well. Once you have got comfortable with this simple drill, I want you to come here and focus on getting at least two headshots in a single burst spray. You should be able to do this with all three scopes as shown. I will teach you the basic technique for doing this perfectly. Shoot approximately three to five bullets per spray and try your best to get headshots. Two or more headshots per burst would be ideal. The technique you should follow is to place your aim a little below the head level. And when you fire, pull down the aim so that it stays at the head level. You need to try this multiple times until you get the hang of it. Once you are comfortable with this, you will be able to spray these targets accurately as shown. Once you have the fundamentals taken care of, practice in this WOW mode. The code is shown above. This will help you perfect your burst sprays so that you can finally use it in classic matches and start dominating your opponents. That's all I have for you in this video. Was this useful? Let me know in the comments. Do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss useful content like this. Much love to all of you. This is your chance to make suggestions for my next tutorial. Let me know in the comments.